Welcome to the Photo Booth Supply Co. YouTube page. My name is Catalina. I'm the owner of Modern Photo Booth Company, and today I'm doing a follow-up on the best microphone to use for your video confessional slash iPad booth. Now, if you remember, I think last year I made a video, which I will link above here, and it was about what was the best Bluetooth microphone to use for a video confessional booth or for your iPad booth if you're doing any type of video. Now, for a second there, Smart Mic Plus, which is the one that I recommended, gave us a bit of a heart attack, but it actually wasn't them. I think it was something to do with the iOS because for a little bit, it wasn't working. And so I actually took down the video because we were doing an activation and it just, all of a sudden stopped recognizing it and it started seeing it as solely as a headphone. And so that was a bit of an issue. So we had to find a plan B, which is why I ended up making this video. So it's always a great idea to have a plan B when you're using any type of Bluetooth accessory because A, maybe the battery can run out or it, like we saw at that activation, an iOS update can happen and all of a sudden your microphone doesn't work anymore. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over some of the options that you can do in addition to doing the Smart Mic Plus. So if you're using a Salsa booth, I'm still going to recommend that this is the best microphone that you can get. Like I mentioned, it is the Smart Mic Plus by Sabintech, I believe, and you can get it on Amazon. And what's really nice is that they now have a unidirectional um, addition that you can put on, and I would highly recommend that you get it. Now, what that means is that it's going to only pick up sound similar to this microphone that's directly in line with it. And so if you're at a very loud party, it will pick up the person's voice voice more so than any of the background sound, which is exactly what you're gonna want. Now, the biggest downfall to this microphone is obviously how teeny tiny it is. And like, what are you gonna do with this at an event? You're really gonna like hold it in front of people and be like, please speak into this? Like, no. And you can't really like put it on a microphone stand. In the original video, I was saying that I'm probably going to like connect a magnet to it or tape it to a mic stand or something, but I found a better solution. What I did is I bought a very cheap microphone off Amazon. I'll try to link that in the descriptions below, but it keeps going out of stock for some reason. So this is the microphone that I bought. All you're gonna do is you're gonna twist off the top of it. And normally when you first get it, it's gonna have all of the internals, like the electronics in here. You can literally just like pull them right out, cut any cables, make sure it's obviously not plugged in, but cut any cables. I even cut off the bottom cable since it serves no purpose. Then what I did is um, I just took some basic paper towel. I turn on my microphone, I'll pair it to the iPad using the Bluetooth settings, and then you can just enable microphone in the Salsa app. I will link that article in the description. So I wrap it in this paper towel just to give it some stability inside of the microphone so that it's not moving around. But literally this will stay in place all night. You just put the cap back on, screw it on, there you go. Now you have yourself a real microphone and it actually sounds perfect. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I wanna see if this video booth is gonna work in my fake microphone. So you can put this on a mic stand if you want, or you can hand it out to people, but you literally don't have to deal with any power or anything like that. It's a really great way to use the Bluetooth microphone and get a real mic out of it. Okay, let's talk about some backups. Let's say you don't wanna use Bluetooth for whatever reason, and that's fine. You can actually use a USB microphone with your salsa booth. Now you're going to have to get a dongle, like something like this, that has a USB-C, if that's the iPad that you're using, in order to charge your iPad. And then it also needs to have a USB port on it as well. So this is so that you can charge and use your microphone at the same time. Now, this is from my testing. I'm telling you this from experience because I ordered like six or seven different dongles off Amazon and none of them worked except for two. So I actually would recommend that you get something for a a MacBook Pro instead of one for an iPad because what I found with most of the off-the-shelf ones from Amazon that were meant for iPad would not actually charge the iPad fast enough and that the USB was actually draining the battery because it was taking power from the actual power cable but if you get one that's actually rated or if you get an Apple one you won't have that problem so make sure that you're ordering the right one I will link this one in particular below for you guys to take a look at but if this one's not available Available, just try and make sure that you test a couple of them out before you just use one blindly. So the one thing that I will mention about using a USB is that there's no sexy way of doing this, unfortunately. As you'll see here in this picture, this uh, dongle in particular just kind of sticks out of the bottom of your salsa booth. Now, I don't know, maybe you can throw some stickers on this, brand it to your client or something, but unfortunately, as of right now, there is just 
like I said, no sexy way of doing this. You're gonna have to have this thing kind of sticking out of your booth in order to connect your microphone. Once you've connected your dongle to your salsa booth, you actually have a wide variety of microphones that are available to you. So I ordered this really cheap one off Amazon. Um, I wouldn't overly recommend it. Like the sound wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. I actually ran outside of my testing room to see if it would pick up from far away and it did. But like I said, it is pretty cheap and it wasn't like the best audio, but if you're just starting out and maybe you don't have as much money to spend on something a little bit better, this is a really great option. And because it's USB, you don't have to worry about the battery running out or anything. It is powered by the USB. So again, this is why it's important that you get the right dongle. Now with USB, you also have the option of using something like a Yeti. These can actually be taken off the stand and put on an actual mic stand. And with something like this, like you can also control some of the levels and stuff that are coming into it. The one thing I will point out though, is that if you are gonna use something like a Yeti, make sure that you do put it on a stand. And I wouldn't do this for an unattended booth. And the reason is that it has a mute button here on the side that people, if they're holding it, will generally tend to press. And then it's not gonna record any sound whatsoever, as well as your volume control is on the outside. So this is a nicer mic to use in terms of audio quality, but it's going to be something that you're really gonna wanna make sure people don't touch so that they're not playing around with any of the settings that are on the outside. There's also another option that you can get if you want something that's gonna sit directly on your photo booth. You can actually attach this to the front of the salsa booth. And again, it's kind of gonna look a little bit weirder, but this might be an option that is gonna work for someone. We tried it once and it actually worked really well for us. So I thought I would throw it in this video again. I don't have it here, but this is what that microphone looks like. You can literally just use some 3M tape and throw it either onto the column or onto the face plate, depending on which iPad you're using. But it's also a good option to have if this is something that you're looking to do, like some sort of like a more one piece module type of microphone. And you're gonna have to test out a couple of these because some of the ones that I got had really good sound quality and then others were like really bad. So <laughs> just test whatever you're gonna get, get a couple of them and then just return whatever doesn't work out for you. Just make sure you order from Amazon. They have a great return policy. Last but not least, I do wanna give you guys a couple of tips about setting up your video confessional booth anywhere at an event. Obviously you wanna make sure that you're not close to a DJ or a speaker because I don't care how good your microphone is, you're gonna get background noise coming in if you're next to a speaker. So we always try to tell people to kind of put us as farthest away from the sound as possible without having us leave the room. But this definitely helps and honestly the sound quality of any of these microphones that I've posted here with the exception of this one. But if you're looking at the Smart Mic Plus, again, this is the one that I recommend the most. Uh, the little one that's inside of here, of course, that's the one that is going to get you the best sound without having so much background noise. And it really does last about four or five hours on a full charge. At least that's what we've kind of seen with it. So you could always get two if you have a longer event, just make sure that you switch them out. But it is a really fantastic mic. It's still gonna be my number one recommendation, especially if you're gonna stuff it inside one of these fake microphones. But yeah, still make sure that you're set up kind of as far away from all of the music as humanly possible. I also wouldn't recommend doing video confessional booths as a drop off. We always will send an attendant with it because people also don't really know what to say. So an attendant will help them maybe ask them some questions or guide them through how to do it. But they'll also be able to um, make sure that people aren't stealing your microphone or like they're using it properly. So I hope this was helpful and a little bit of an update on the last mic video. I'm so happy that the Smart Mic Plus is back because I really love this microphone so much. I even use it for other video work as well. So it's a very versatile microphone. If I find any other ones, I will of course update you guys. And I'm sorry it took me so long to come up with another version with USB, but here it is, it's back. And I hope it gives you guys some options on how to pull off video confessional booths. I'll also post links to those videos on how to program them. And you guys should have everything you need now to pull off video confessional booths. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified the next time we post a video and I will see you next time.